Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Airbus, what's it doing now? Um, just another heads up uh, video about single engine bleed and anti-ice management. Um, yeah, I've been quite busy boy lately. I've obviously got nothing else going on in my life, so I thought I'd put uh, a few videos out. I've just actually done this one, but um, in terms of recorded it, but I haven't done the editing uh, and sorted out the sort of um, supporting material for it yet. So um, I think that's probably going to come later on. Well, it will come later on in the week, and I'm still working on uh, the flight safety new playlist um, and talking about unreliable airspeed and stuff. So I guess there's quite a few things, as always, um, in the uh, pipeline and lots of other stuff coming as well. But anyway, it's, this this is all about the bleed management uh, and anti-ice uh, operation for single engine operations so uh, yeah as I say that's coming uh, later on uh, in the week and um, so just to give you an idea what I'm talking about um, it's the difference between a sort of simple rundown procedure how we can operate our um, air conditioning packs how we can run our uh, wing anti-ice and our engine anti-ice so I start off with a very simple schematic um, I know we've covered a lot of this in bleed and electrics and so I haven't done a hugely deep technical dive on this this is really all about practical application because at the end of the day when you are single engine operations it's the practical understanding that which we really need and we want to understand why the ECAM is telling us to do things and so hopefully I can add a bit of context to it so we start with a simple rundown remember with a rundown for the engine it's just the uh, mark the switch and uh, and uh, that basically is that and then the fire push button obviously is um, when we have engine damage so simple rundown and we look at how we can integrate the packs how we can integrate the APU um, how we can manage our bleed and also um, how we can uh, as I say integrate the APU not just on the electrical source but also provide a bleed source to take some of the stress uh, away from the engines in in terms of its performance. Um, we also look at operating both packs and wing anti-ice and we look at the differences between the CEO and the NEO because the ECAM is slightly different there. So I won't give too much away. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that to the video. So the next item we'll look at then is the differences with the fire push button press. And this is where it gets a little bit meaty and gets a little bit uh, complicated potentially. So as I said, I try and keep it simple. We have a look at the operation of the cross bleed and why it's really important to maintain that close. It's part of the expanded procedures that we don't often get to do um, and not really a problem if you're single pack and you don't use the APU bleed, not really a problem. But of course, because we've got that cross bleed closed, we then don't have the wing anti-ice uh, available to us. So um, this is why you'll see a slightly different ECAM when you press the fire push button. More of that in the uh, in the in the briefing we we'll then have a look at the APU and specifically the APU bleed when can we use it how can we use it and what are the traps and the dangers of pressing that APU bleed on to help us with um, uh, performance uh, for example um, there's also another uh, element I like to talk about just to sort of clear up the confusion. Sometimes you see on the ECAM if performance permits cross bleed open uh, and we'll talk about the gross single engine uh, ceiling and really what that's all what that's all about. So, so it's so a little bit of an explanation and context uh, on that when you see that in the ECAM. And um, the last thing is if anti ice is required, pack is affected side off. You'll see that on the CO. You don't see that on the NEO. Uh, so just some explanation uh, on that, particularly if you're operating uh, both both types of CEO and uh, the NEO. Good. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, coming up. Uh, hopefully that'll be out in the next, uh, towards the end of the week, perhaps. I'm, I'm back to work tomorrow for a, a pretty um, um, busy uh, four or five days. So I'm not entirely sure when it's going to come out, but um, hopefully it's enough to be getting on with uh, from the recent releases. So thanks as always uh, for watching and tuning in. Uh, keep the plate spinning, be safe, and I'll look forward to seeing you or talking to you again very soon.